So today is kind of a special day because I'm getting married today. And Michael's getting married. We're both getting married today. Together. Like Michael and I have been planning this for a while. Actually, it's 2019. I wanted to get married on January 9th so that it could be 1919. But today is actually January 11th. We decided not to do it because Michael thought it was like not the best of luck to get married on the 9th. So instead, we're getting married on January 11th. It's supposed to be like better luck, one, one, one. But apparently there's a luck calendar. I mean, do you guys have this? Like when you guys decided to get married or when you decided to get married, are you going to have like look at a luck calendar? Like it's not a big thing to me, but it was to her. I respected that. Probably 111 is easier to remember. I don't know, but 1919 is like, at least I can remember the year. So I can remember like how many years we've been married? Nine. Oh, well, nine is a bad luck number. But so we're getting okay. married in 2019. Yeah, that's okay. But like, we're gonna carry that nine every year. That means suffering. You know, like four is death, nine is suffering. Yeah. What's eleven? Nothing. So I guess we're getting on a married on a nothing day. No. <laughs> You're no. just not supposed to get married on a bad day. It's uh -huh. Taiyan, which is the best day. Taiyan. The best day of the month because it's friday um, it's friday, friday. No? but basically we're gonna submit our marriage registration form to the kuyaksho which is the city government since i'm a foreigner i had to go to the u.s embassy and fill out a declaration of like who i am my parents and whatnot we have that form and then we have to fill out the registration form it was interesting because i actually had to get a signature from one of my friends and then michael had to get a signature from one of her friends as witnesses one of my friends yo actually filled it out i went to his clinic you can see him right here in the video i'm ready to get married i've been waiting my entire life for this <laughs> Looks like probably forgot to sign the document. Michael is signing it right now. Good night. <laughs> えっと、ドクターは一番難しいとこ。時はいつですか。忙しい日ですか?そうそう。クリスマス、クリスマスね。そう。またまた、いつ頃ですか?すごくいい日だったんで。ああ。あと、お盆休みね。お盆休みだった
just got married. Um, actually, you know what, Michael, can you like join this? Let me get on that side. So like while we were sitting and waiting for the guys like to confirm our marriage, we started to discuss like like ceremonies here in Japan and like what we're going to do about the ceremony. And like we're kind of, we're still up in the air. One, because we just don't know what we want to do. And two, we're trying to like figure out the cost because we don't want to spend too much money on a wedding, right? And there's like, there's several ways to do it. How does that work? Like Japan, if you have a wedding, the parents pay? Who um, pays? I don't think there's maybe there's a traditional way who pays and not but like i think nowadays it doesn't really matter usually whoever is getting married is the one who's paying really i think so i think in the u.s traditionally the woman's parents pays why uh the husband's side pay for anything or like for something else I'm not quite sure but i i think i think the reason being is like traditionally like you're supposed to give away the bride mm -hmm. and usually oh. Like the, they want the husband to take care of their daughter, uh -huh. so she's like entering into his family. I don't know, like people from the U.S. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh -huh. but I think nowadays that's not so much the case. It's, it really depends on their like financial situation, mm -hmm. like with both yeah, families. Yeah, yeah, of but I think that was that's how it was mm, back in the day. I think nowadays, well, like from what I heard from my friends, they try to pay uh, with what they have. Uh -huh. But their parents support if they ask for something. So yeah. I, I think it really depends on the cases. Maybe like my friends are not really traditional. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Weddings are just really expensive in general. And I think we're both in the same mindset. If we're going to spend that much money for mm -hmm. a wedding, we'd rather just like go on a vacation and like use that money to, to buy a house or... I feel like even let's say we're just going to do like a honeymoon, like spend that wedding money to go to the honeymoon, it's still not going to be a amount for a wedding. Uh, yeah. How to say like wedding? Like let's say like wedding would probably cost like some three million yen. Three million, like roughly thirty thousand dollars. And usually guests are supposed to pay like a yeah. lot of money. So you usually spend like hyaku gozuman minimum. I feel like. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. That's uh, like what I hear from my friends. So yes, yeah, so one thing about Japan and it's something that's real that was really new to me when I first came to Japan is if you attend a wedding, I think like a rough amount, you pay about 30,000 yen, which is like roughly 300,000. That's minimum, if okay. you're a friend. Okay, which is roughly around $300, a little less than $300 yeah. to attend the wedding. And that's like quite a lot of bit of money, right? Yeah, but like that's actually like, that usually takes up like up to half or like two third of whatever you spend on the yeah. wedding. If they have a lot of guests, then that's actually one way that they're able to make their money back. Mm -hmm. it, like it adds up once, if you have a lot of guests and they're all paying like between 300 to four to $500 per head, that's quite a lot of money. Yeah. And you can have like a pretty <laughs> extravagant wedding with all those guests. That's why some Japanese people have like these big weddings. The one thing for me is, especially around like this age, as you get older, uh, I have a lot of friends that are getting married around this time. Yeah. And I've got invited to quite a bit of weddings. And I'm just like, I don't know if I want to spend that money to go to the thing is sometimes like you get invited to friends that you're not even that close to that's messed up right that happens <laughs> yeah, that's really messed up right you yeah. get like you know I'm like dude I, I met you <laughs> I don't know you like know. five or five <laughs> years ago we like hung out for a little bit but now you're inviting me to your wedding yeah. and so you get a like you get a lot of those invites mm -hmm. as well because people want you to attend it hurts when you're young like 300 bucks is a lot for like a person who has no money. Yeah, I was just, I was just saying, like, it, like, when I was in my like 20s, especially, right? Yeah. And you have friends. <laughs> when you have friends that are getting married, yeah. you're like, oh my gosh, that's. I can't afford to, to attend these weddings. Like, my mom told me, like, when we went back to New Year's. Yeah. Um, she told me that it used to be like brides and groom invites more relatives or like mm. their elder people at work work or yeah. like boss or you know like the school teachers or who can pay a lot for your wedding. So it usually pays off more. But like yeah. nowadays people invite more friends so it doesn't actually really get paid off. Yes. So yeah, that's actually one thing that's changing. Yeah, so I think the difference in the US is I don't think they have this like gift system um, in terms of like giving the $300. They just have a... Like, you oh, just registration. Give, yeah, they have registration. Oh, you just like register yeah, yeah, at a place and then you, the people just choose from, from that as like How gifts. How do you register? Do you have like a list or something? Like I learned this only from Sex and the City. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, my all my information from Sex and the City. But um, I remember uh, Carrie was trying to buy 
the wedding gift yeah. that registered and she had to go to different departments or like a stores and oh it's already bought or like something like so she had to buy like something that's left on the list yeah. so like they send you the list to buy or like how does that work you can just go online no oh so they send you like a uh, invitation with list I think so. That's kind of how well, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Buy me a gift. Well, so, so that's the US, I think. Uh, again, help us out. So yeah, that's kind of like we we're, we're married now. Just wanted to let you guys know. Yep. If you guys want to support the channel, like always, there's always like links in the description and ways to like donate to our channel. Uh, <laughs> maybe we'll use it for a wedding in the future or we may take the money and just go on a really nice vacation honeymoon. for our honeymoon <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, but anyways all of that support is always much appreciated or if you guys just want to like send us a, a card or something ah, you yeah, want to like send really us nice. a card or send us some like treats from your country I'll definitely open it up on my Instagram channel our mailing address I'll also leave that in the description for you guys so if you guys send, send us stuff definitely I'll open it up on my Instagram account so anyways um, that's how Japan is like what is it like in your country let us know like how you guys handle because actually like would like to know think People are more on the Western model, like, you know, register at a place. But I don't know. I don't even know, what, like, what it is in, like, Singapore or... I wonder how it is in Korea. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Let us know in the comments, like, or, or Europe. I'm not I'm not quite sure. Also, let us know what you think about the marriage customs here in Japan. What you think about the $300. Let us know what you think. If you agree with it, if you don't agree with it. Let us know what you guys do in your country because we kind of want to know. Um, if you like this video, help me out and hit that like button. If you want to see more of my adventures in Tokyo or Japan or any of my guides, hit that subscribe button or the bell button. And all right, guys. So we're married. It's as easy as that. <laughs> <laughs>